Moreover, he called for a famine upon the land. He break the whole staff of bread. He sent man before them. He sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant, whose feet thy hurt with fetters. He was laid in iron until the time that his word came. The word of the Lord tried him. The king sent and loosed him, even the ruler of the people, and let him go free. He made him lord of his house and ruler over all his substance to bind his, the, to bind his princes at his pleasure and teach his senators wisdom. Israel also came into Egypt, and Jacob so journeyed in the land of Ham. And he increased his people greatly and made them stronger that, than their enemies. He turned their heart to hate his people, to deal subtly with his servants. He sent Moses his servant and Aaron whom he had chosen. They showed his signs among them and wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made it dark. And they rebelled not against his word. He turned their waters into blood and slew their fish. Their land brought forth frogs in abundance. And in the chambers of their kings he spake, and there came diverse sorts of flies and lice in all their coasts. He gave them hail for rain and flaming fire in their hand. He smote their vines also, and their fig trees, and brake the trees of their coast. He spake, and the locusts came, and caterpillars, and that without number, and did eat up all the herbs in their land, and devoured the fruit of their ground. He smote also all the firstborn in their land, the chief of all their strength, he brought them forth also with silver and gold, and there was not one feeble person among their tribes. Egypt was glad when they departed, for the fear of them fell upon them. He spread a cloud for a covering, and a fire to give light in the night. The people asked, and he brought quails, and satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock, and the waters gushed out. They ran in the dry places like a river. For he remembered his holy promise, and Abraham his servant. And he brought forth his people with joy, and his chosen with gladness. He gave them the, hand, the lands of the heathen, and they inherited the labor of the people, that they might observe his statutes and keep his laws. Praise ye the Lord. Psalm 106. Praise ye the Lord, O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth, for, endureth forever. Who can utter the mighty acts of the Lord? Who can show forth all his praise? Blessed are they that keep judgment, and he that doeth righteousness at all times. Remember me, O Lord, with the flavor favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation, that I may see the good of thy chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation, that I may glory with thine inheritance. We have sinned with our fathers. We have committed iniquity we have done wickedly. Our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt. They remembered not the multitude of thy mercies, but provoked him at the sea, even the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them from, for his name's sake, that he might make his mighty power to be known. He rebuked the sea also, and it was dried up. He also led them through the depths as through the wilderness. And he saved them from the hand of them that hateth him, hated them, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. And the waters covered their enemies, that there was not one of them left.
They believed they his words. They sang his praise. They soon forgot his works. They waited not for his counsel, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tempted God in the desert. And he gave, and he gave them their request, but sent leanness into their soul. They envied Moses also in the camp, and Aaron, the saint of the Lord. The earth opened and swallowed up Dathan, and covered the company of Abiram. And a fire was kindled in their company. The fire burned up the wicked, and made they made a calf in Horeb. They worshipped the molten image. Thus they changed their glory into the similitude of an ox that eateth grass. They forgot God their Savior, which had done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, a terrible and terrible things by the Red Sea. Therefore he said that they would destroy him. Hath not Moses his chosen stood before him in the breach? to turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. Yeah, they despised the pleasant land. They believed not his word, but murmured in their tents. Believed not his word, but murmured in their tents, and hearkened not unto the voice of the Lord. Therefore he lifted up his hand against them to overthrow them in the wilderness, to overthrow their seed also among the nations, and to scatter them in the lands. They joined themselves also unto Balaborior, and ate the sacrifices of the dead. Thus they provoked him to anger with their inventions, and the plague brake in upon them. They stood up Phineas, then stood up Phineas, and executed judgment. And so the plague was stayed, and then, and that was counted unto him for righteousness unto all generations forevermore. They angered him also at the waters of strife, so that it went ill with Moses for their sakes. Because they provoked his spirit, so that he spake unadvisedly with his lips. They did not destroy the nations concerning whom the Lord commanded them, but were mingled amongst the heathen and leaned and learned their works, and they served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Yeah, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils, and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. Thus they were defiled with their own works, and went a whoring with their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of the Lord kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance." And he gave them unto the hand of the heathen, and they that hated them ruled over them. <clears throat> Their enemies also oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection under their hand. Many times did he deliver them, but they provoked him with their counsel, and were brought low for their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction, and he heard their cry, and he remembered for them his covenant and reprinted, and repented according to the multitude of his mercies. He made them also to be pitied of all those that carried them captives. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name and to triumph in thy praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for everlasting to everlasting, and let all the people say, Amen. Praise ye the Lord.